Welcome back. In this video, we will cover how we can send push notifications from Firebase to our Flutter app. So let's get started. You can see on the screen, I have this simple project being created where we have this main function that runs our root widget, which is push notifications. And then this push notification returns material app, which is the basic widget. And then we have the home screen. So this is the home screen that you see. It's in this file. You have this file where we have this material just removed. We don't know material app here because we already added the material app above this home screen here in the main file. So this is the home screen. We have an app bar. This is the widget method helper method and it returns an app bar with this title push notifications and we have also added some styling here now in the body we have this text shown in the center and that is welcome to push notifications so this is the app and we will receive notifications here in this app so the scope of this video is to just trigger or push notifications from firebase dashboard or firebase console to this app so we will First, initialize our Firebase project to connect it to our Flutter app. And after that, we will push notification. We will handle all the logic or uh, setup that needs to be done for receiving the push notifications. So I will go to Firebase. You can see here, I can create a new project. I can give it some name like push notifications. And then I will continue. Here, I don't need to enable this Gemini in Firebase for this project. I will continue. Similarly, don't need analytics and I will create the project. Now, our Firebase project is ready. So I'll tap on continue. And now this is the dashboard of our project push notifications. We need to connect it to our Firebase project. So let's move to our Firebase project. And here I will open the terminal. I have Flutter file CLI installed and I will connect my Firebase to the app using that CLI. If you don't know how to use Flutter file CLI, you can just watch my video. I will put a link in the description. So here I need to enter this command, which is Flutter file, and then I will uh, enter configure. I need to hit enter and it will fetch all the available Firebase projects on my account. And we just recently created one. So we will just find that one. So I will go above and this is the push notifications that we just created. We don't have any other here. So here I will hit enter and then I need to choose the platform. So I just need it for Windows, uh, sorry, Android and iOS. So I will hit enter now and this will register our Firebase project. For Android and iOS platforms. We will cover the Android app in this video and later on we will also be building tutorial on iOS app as well. So it's now working on iOS and it's registering uh, our it's connecting our app to Firebase. So let's wait and see and now our uh, Firebase connection has been almost established we need to do something you can see this is the firebase options file that it has generated and in the main i need to do some setup here firstly i need to add widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized after that i need to initialize my firebase app in this flutter app so here we are using a way to initialize app as it is an async operation so i will add async here i can also wrap it and that will be future and white and then we have this firebase for this we need a library a package that is used for initialization and that is known as firebase core so i will hit command shift p if you have this thing installed to add dependency you can add it from here and i will enter firebase core hit enter and it will install this dependency you can also do it manually from the pub dev so you can create a new tab and you can write flutter core and you can add into package this is the package you can just copy it from the website uh, like this you can tap this button and you can add it in popspec.yaml file here and here you need to just paste it here like this one uh, you can see i have already 
installed it using the command so if you have set up that thing in vs code or cursor then you can easily uh, install this thing and now here i need to import the library firebase core and now i need to add these options here so i will add options and in options i need to use default firebase options uh, and then i have to choose this current platform this is B this is from the file this is firebase options so we have just imported this thing from firebase options file and this will initialize our firebase project and uh, we will now restart our app we will close the app and restart to see if it connects or not so i will just close this and now let me restart the app so i will hit control uh, sorry control function f5 on mac to restart you can restart it using your own method so it will now rebuild the app and let's see if if we are okay with that or we have some issues in our firebase setup now if we come to our firebase here you will be able to see the project that's been connected to this uh, project so uh, let's restart the uh, browser sorry they reload the page and you can see we have two apps here push notification this is for android and then we have for ios because we chose these two platforms uh, you can also connect for web and uh, unity and uh, you can also select other platforms as well so we have the projects being connected here now let's run the app you can see we have an issue here and that's my ndk version so i will just copy it and i will paste it in my build.gradle file um, i have the issue but still we are able to run this so need, no need for that and let's see if our firebase has been connected yes definitely our firebase has been connected because this code has been executed successfully and you can see we are in the home screen so it means we are connected to the firebase project now we need to set up the push notifications so i will come here to this uh, dashboard and here we have the different services available we also have this messaging here so we will find this messaging this is the firebase cloud messaging service that we need to send push notifications and from here we can create our campaigns we can send either in-app messages or notification messages but before that we need to do something we need to initialize so for that we need the firebase uh, cloud messaging function uh, package which is the firebase messaging we need this package and then we need to initialize the app to accept these notifications for that i will create a new like uh, notification service so just create a new file with the name notification service and here i need to create this class which is the notification service and then uh, this is just a singleton you can just remove this we don't need it to be that advanced i will just create a notification uh, sorry an instance of this package we have this firebase messaging instance from this package uh, which is this uh, firebase messaging it's from the app firebase sorry it's from the package firebase messaging and now here we need to request the permission so in order to request that let's call it in it in it fcm and here the first thing we are going to do is to uh, request the permission and then get tokens from the device every device has a token and that token is used to uh, send or target that device for notification so i will need to pass this token to firebase in order to send notification to this device so this will give me the token and then it will print it so that i can get it from this terminal and uh, console and i will just add it in the firebase uh, messaging to send notification to this emulator so it will give us it will get us permission then it will get us this fcm token also we need to listen to these notifications if we don't listen to these notifications so they will be wasted so we have these listeners we have three types of listeners that we will use here what one is on message open app this is the one when our app isn't opened uh, like our app is running in the background uh, and we tap on notification and the app is opened so when the app is open so this logic will be executed so this is that case then we have this one 
which is when we have the app active and we receive a notification so this is on message and this logic will be executed in that case and then we have the on background when our app is neither in the background it's completely uh, like closed so we receive a um, notification and when we tap on that so it will open our app and then this logic will be executed so uh, i hope you understand these three cases the one is that our app um, our app uh, is like uh, not closed but it's not in the like foreground like if i just do it like this you can see it's not active uh, it's opened but it's not on the foreground so in that case uh, this uh, hopefully this listener will be uh, executed this call bell will be executed the logic when our notification comes and we tap on that and the other is on message this will be the one when our app is in foreground like active and we receive a notification so this logic will be executed and the one is when our app either uh, our app is in background or it's completely closed so this will be executed when it's completely closed our app so um, if i i shuffle uh, any two of them in the like functionality so so you can search for that so uh, I don't mind that but we have the listeners been uh, uh, we have the listeners here that will listen for these notifications and now once this logic is executed we will be able to receive notifications right so I will just hit save and I need to call this init FCM it will request permission for Firebase messaging it will give us an FCM token it's the unique token of a device that is used to target that specific device for push notification then we have these listeners for all the three cases that uh, in which we can receive notification so I will now go to the main dot dart file and here I need to just use this notification service and I need to initialize it so it will give me that thing so let me just add a weight here and and it FCM we can also add that singleton uh, sorry we don't need this local notification here we can also make it singleton so that it is just instantiated once this service and it's not instantiated again and again but it will work for us we can either just uh, create an instant and then use that to init notification just like we create an instance notification service and then we hit the init with this notification service instance so uh, now it will just initialize our firebase cloud messaging so i will restart my app and see what's wrong it says uh, we have some error here method channel yes this error usually occurs when you add a new plugin but you haven't closed your app and restart it again so i will uh, close the app and i will run it again so let's see uh, how it works now so let's give it some time to rebuild our app is opened uh, you can see it it says allow push notification to send you notification so i will tap on allow and after that it will uh, give me what's wrong unhandled null check operator on a null value we have this fcm token but after that we have some error null check used so let's find out where we have the issue we have used this uh, message mm. well we haven't used some check here that can cause this issue so where is it we need to look at this issue or just restart the app to see we have accepted the, the permissions but still we have on background message oh we have this issue here so we need to oh we need to handle this background uh, here in the main file so here I will just create handle background message and it will just uh, handle this for us I'll just use this and I will remove the other one which is the firebase sorry that's the notification service mm, I will come to a notification service here and we just need to remove this background one we have already removed it and the main we have this handle background so I will just use this handle background message 
this is you can see we have their own background message listener and we have passed this callback this logic will be executed and now i think we're good to go so i will just restart the app and to see if it works yes we don't have any error and now let's send a notification uh, we have this fcm token here so i will just copy this token in order to target this specific device for push notification and now here i need to select the firebase notification messages and as messages are a bit different so i will i'm interested in this one and let's create your first campaign so we need to add a notification title like test then the, the notification content that's going to be test test testing and here we can also add some image you can upload any image that will be shown with the notification uh, um, we can add some image but uh, you can add you can try it yourself and then we have the notification name that's also optional but here uh, we can now um, like set next to move to a next uh, thing and then we need to select an app we want to push it to our android app right and now if we tap on next here we want to send it now we have additional options here sound enabled and then we have other things there's some payload that we can also add for like if you want to if you want to navigate to specific screen like when a notification is tapped you want to move the user to a specific screen so you can add, add some payload here some you can add some key value pairs here that will help you identify the route and you can move to that route or you can also send some other data that that might be needed when the notification is tapped and you want to perform some logic so that's what you can do we have the scheduling target and here uh, what do we have in, in here we have the different things that's for the analytics we don't need it and we have uh, we have added the firebase notifications here notification send test message here we need to add an fcm registration token that we just took from the device and we will add it and i we i will test so i will tap on this test and let's see if we have received the notification or not but you can see we are in the foreground uh, by default the foreground messages aren't shown and uh, because that's because uh, there is some issue on the platform side so for that you have to manage this in a different way that we will handle but i've just uh, sent the app to background it's not closed but it's in the background and i will send a test message again so uh, let's let's use this you can test this campaign by entering so the screen. and you can see i have received a notification that notification is has been received now you can see this is the test test testing and this is our notification let me tap on this and by default it will open the app and that's how we implement basic push notifications from firebase and for also you can also upload an image from here you can select it or you can just enter the the url of that image the link to that a uh, network image like there is someone on google or uh, you have stored somewhere in drive so you can just enter the link or you can also uh, browse your device for these images so that's how it's work and that's the basic setter for setup for implementing push notifications using firebase in the next video we will cover how we can send the notifications by uh, by implementing logic in the app like there will be a button here and that will say send push notification whenever you tap on that button so that button will send push notification to a specific device so we will handle that from the app so that will be something coming in the next video so make sure you stay tuned and for this video we are done and you can send notifications firebase cloud messaging to your flutter app so that was it for today's video guys see you in the next video goodbye